previously on 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. She mentioned something about it. Guys? Guys? Hey! By the way, do you know how to work this time travel business? Time travel? That sounds cool. Uh, what? Oh. You don't know either? I want to be part of this conversation! <laughs> Guys! Stop ignoring me! I'm Jura! And now back to. What the f is this? What's that? The f are you? Ah! Hello! Sneaky B. Back with some more 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. When we last left off, we got the conclusion to Juro's story, and it was fucking crazy, honestly. I mean, it was really good. Like, I actually liked that they they did. They ended up making Juro Izumi. It was kind of what I was expecting even from the beginning. That he wasn't necessarily a bad guy right he was a guy who was trying to do the right thing but he had to do a whole bunch of bad shit to do that thing right seemingly killing a bunch of innocent people in the shikishima industries killing the, his fellow students to try and you know end this uh this loop of whatever they're fucking in right and we still don't really understand the full ideas and concepts behind what's happening right what happens when you die in this what happens when uh, we loop, right? Like, how does that function exactly? Where is there actual time travel going on here? Because I do think a lot of this is not actually time travel. It seems like Sector Zero, like, it does seem like there has to be a little bit of it, right? It seems like se Sector Zero, whatever that is, does potentially involve time travel. I, I don't know. We're, we'll have to see. But but I did really like the, the conclusion of that story. I don't know. It, it was definitely, Juro's is definitely a lot more like what Ninji's was, where it had sort of a a kind of a nice poignant ending moment um but it's cool i'm noticing though that everyone's ending right at some point they do summon their uh their sentinel which is cool right even his shoes even though he's didn't really ha has had more of a cliffhanger he still summoned his sentinel to when uh ryoko was with him so uh that's cool and also i just noticed i've actually finally surpassed halfway in analysis good lord wow there must be there must be a lot like a fucking lot that you unlock in the second half right like as you get to closer to the end you just start unlocking a, sh a shit ton of information because i'm already like you know i'm 65 percent of the way through this and 70 percent three percent of the way through this so i'm thinking that must be the case because apparently by the way it's not just like the the mystery files it's literally the events and the mystery files that are being counted here i believe but yeah i'm still just enjoying the ever-living hell of this game and i'm just every time i come back to it it's just an absolute delight i can't wait to see where we go from here but anyway last episode uh napatis said uh izumi i did all this to spare you from a breakdown karabe really yeah look izumi then proceeds to point at a curled up nico in the corner crying a block of fusion this one has been like that for those past 20 episodes <laughs> oh my god <laughs> ah, 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 I'm both so happy and so confused. <laughs> ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. That's just been me. Especially last episode. Holy shit, they put so much shit in there at the end of last of that Juro's thing. It was like, God damn, like fucking curveball after curveball. It's like, Jesus Christ. The fact that Juro was also this Takatoshi's like commander or whatever his superior and then he went out and saved yakashiji uh I th and her father's there i don't yeah i think it, i think the father i don't think is anybody like <laughs> it's not like somebody else's parent i don't think unless they change their name at some point um it's not like miura's voice actor but he goes and saves yakashiji and now this whole time he's apparently been looking after yakashiji in his own way even <laughs> Even as a cat, I guess. Even though it's, he's like he's being a bit of an he's been a bit of an asshole to her in cat form. Oh, by the way, you guys told me uh, cat, uh, the cat is actually voiced by Ben Diskin, who does the voice for Casper, uh, also Kuta Shiba, who is also Jury Izume. So I see. Of course, you're right. I totally hear it now. It sounds he sounds just like young Xehanort. I kept trying to listen to it and think it sounded like Chris Hackney, but I, I wasn't thinking about it right. He was using his Kuta Shiba voice. Clever, though. Actually, I actually think that's a smart way of doing it, you know? It's not like everybody's voiced by Chris Acne, even if everyone is jury to me. <laughs> but, Napa, just thank you so much for your hilarious comment. And for that reason, you are comment of the day. It was also a very, very accurate comment, too. That's why my, my brain is mush at the end of every one of these episodes. But a happy mush. A happy mush of peas and potatoes. Mmm. So, okay, we've got, uh... How many people are we through now? Three, I think? Juro? 
Shu, and Ninji. Yeah. Somebody else was actually over 80%. Yeah, it's her. She's almost done, but I gotta get through Minami's stuff in order to see it. As well as to open his back up again. Um, so I think for that reason, I think I'm gonna hop back into uh, uh, Natsuno here. Um, oh, sorry, she we just got through her exterminator event. Escaped into the bathroom high from the sun, attacked by Tomiki Suragi. Minami felt relief after Tamao Karabe saved her, but it turned out Tamao was her was after her as well. So let's see where things go from this point. So she's already ha had her memories erased, and actually so is Miura. He, he also got his memories erased. I don't know if they're ever going to realize that or not. And I don't know if we're ever going to run into Aiba again on her side. And it's interesting because Natsuno definitely, I think out of all the characters so far, has been the one that has kind of been dabbling a bit in everybody's things, right? That's kind of why she's essentially the key to so many uh, different people's uh, uh, stories. Like, you know, I, I swear to God, like, I've had at least, like, five or six unlock events that have been getting through Nat, uh, Natsuno's uh, story. I, I almost feel like that could potentially be, like, a, a, a subtle hint as well to her being the uh, current key, right, of the uh, the D key or D code. Cause she's currently is the one, right, the commander that is unintentionally calling in the kaiju. So, interesting. I actually will be wondering too if uh, at any point, if at any point, like BJ will realize realize it himself. Um, all right. Cool. Cool. Ah! Oh shit! That's right. You're not dead yet. Huh? Tamao-san? Oh fuck! All right. I'm like, wait, where am I again? That's right. And then, wait, that's, yeah. Iba stole, uh, or, uh, uh, Juro stole Iba's form. And she's going to be, she's probably going to be alive the whole time. And maybe the remainder of this. I forgot about that. Uh, a small puncture on my cheek. Yeah. Looks like I got stabbed by a needle. I must have gotten it in the girl's bathroom. But why can't I remember anything about it? Did I... Was I captured and had my memories erased? Yes. What if they implanted something in me? Yes. Hmm. I'm probably overthinking it. No. At some point, she gets a bandaid on her face too, which is, which is, I, I find it strange only because she doesn't have it now. It's not like it doesn't seem to be like from this current thing, unless, unless somebody like, I'm only thinking maybe someone goes in there and actually like cuts open her cheek to like change some shit i i have no idea i just find it strange that she doesn't have it right now at least for now i told mira kun he should stay at jiro kun's house after all i'm the one who dragged him into this i need to take responsibility <gasps> i mean not in a weird way no in a weird way damn this game this game goes in hard on its ships and i love it i love it for it do it do it go harder Hey, girl. I mean, guy. I mean, robot. Wait. How are you here, Tamao-san? This place isn't ideal. I'd be found far too soon. Hmm. Maybe Tamao-san was abducted by a UFO. Wonder what they did to her. <sighs> Who is this? The hell? What? What am I defending her? Does she want to join the team? Oh, um, well... Wait, don't tell me. You turned in your sign-up form but never came, huh? It's Iba-san, right? Erica Iba? <sighs> oh. Oh, we actually see that event. Oh. We actually see the event where she takes on that... That persona. Interesting. You're in class 1D? <laughs> she doesn't even say yes. She's like, okay. Right next to Minami-san in class 1C. Sure. Uh, yeah, right. Have you recovered from your illness? Well, actually, she... Not entirely. So can't join yet. Huh? Oh, okay. Uh, well, that's too bad. I hope you get well soon. Maybe she just looks like Tamao-san. Could there really have been someone like this just next door? Oh. Huh. Erica. Iba. Class.
Class 1D. Next door. Hmm. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Natsuno's like, I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to roll with this shit. Okay, so Natsuno actually had a little bit of a unintentional part in that. It's like, oh, wait. Did, am I just getting her confused? She's pretty weird. Yeah. Right. I should go tell the coach. Ah! BJ, you get back in there. BJ, did she find you? Ah. She? The girl that was just here. I was on. Nobody was here. <sighs> oh, what the hell? Did... Hmm... Juro... Izumi make himself, like, invisible to BJ or something? Let's go to the gate. I'm almost done with practice. We'll go there after. No, right Sandwich. now! Natsuno, the gate. I want a sandwich! Natsuno! Natsuno, let's go! Come on, you bad- Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I do kind of love BJ and Asuno's relationship together. So it just seems like BJ's constantly just like, Motherfucker, I went gonna go to this thing! Are you get it? All this school shit's pointless! We're gonna die together right on to make the kaiju! I didn't see any men in black outside. Maybe we can sneak out. I still love that one time too, and he was just like, It's the aliens, right? Sure, whatever. <laughs> Fine. Now, please let me walk with you for once. Ah. You gotta stay in there. He's so cute. Seriously though, how the fuck does his little? Like, he just, we just saw his box form on the floor. How the hell is he fitting in here? Does he like squeeze inward like an accordion or something? Uh, okay. So we got one other way. Get out of here. So the men in black have currently just been walking around looking for huh? BJ, it seems like. Are you going home, Natsuno? <laughs> you got me. Please don't tell Senpai. Our planet is in danger. <laughs> there isn't a second to spare. Yeah, whatever. Okay. They're so used to it now. Like, yeah, okay. Minami's going out to save the world. Uh, men in black here? No? Not today? All right. Okay, where the fuck do you want to go now, BG? We've been here like 30 times. What? What is it you want to do? You want to go to 1945 and get some okay, old school here. ramen? Now we're still looking for our sentinel, that's right. Uh Sector 5, we've been there. I mean we've tried like I, I remember we tried some of these other sectors and he was like, nope, it's not gonna work, bitch. Right? Sector five yeah, sector five is nine forty five. We're in sector four. Sector three, I think is yes, that's twenty something or other. Uh let's go with the one then. You say that, but fuck you. I see. Sector two looks suspicious. Sector two was our first destination. Yeah, but we didn't get to look around much. Yeah. Just do it, dude. Let's go there again and do a proper search. Access code approved. Fine, whatever. But after this, I get to pick where we go. Woo! See, this place is destroyed, so maybe they maybe they pieced out by this point, right? I don't see any tripods. Yeah. But we shouldn't let our guard down. I don't see any crap people. Okay. How should we do this? Natsuno, 
Why? Why do you even need me, honestly? You're going by yourself? Fires continue to burn on the surface. It's too dangerous. Try not to get yourself killed while I'm gone. Time required to search the path is 27 minutes. Bye. Oh, come on. We come all the way out here and you just leave me all alone? I'm gonna walk in and just this drunk as fucking shot to shit. <laughs> and that nightmare one. <laughs> and then my my brain just fucking melts. I'm like, I don't know what the hell. When in the timeline is this happening? It's not often I get to time travel. Yeah. I certainly won't waste it waiting. I'm gonna go grab me a future crumpet at a nearby store. I'll make it quick. I'm gonna go explore it. Just gonna peek around a bit. Nah. We still haven't figured out why uh, Minami has disappeared for so long, right? Like she's been seemingly, seemingly got stranded, right, in time. What do we got here? I saw something light up. <laughs> oh, hello there. Is that a sentinel? Is this who we've been looking for? <laughs> Look who found it first. For leaving me behind. Okay. Cool. PJ! Oh no! No! What happened to you? PJ. Uh oh. Talk to me. Aw. No! PJ dead! What happened? Or is that a, a different scout unit? They're supposed to be based off a scout unit, right? BJ? Oh. That's right. His brain. As long as his brain's okay, I'm sure I can save him. Oh, where is it? Is this it? This light bulb thing. Oh. I think it's this. Oh, wait, she was right. There is actually a brain in there. <laughs> BJ brain. There's some letters on this. Shikishima. Oh. Shikishima Robotics? Wait, as in the appliance company? I'm such an idiot. BJ's not an alien. He's a robot made in Japan. Ah, boring. <laughs> She's so disappointed. Like Nasuna's thinking face. Like everyone has the thinky face and that and th that walks as well. Like, hmm. <laughs> that sound. <gasps> oh no, he's all right. Natsuno, I have been looking for you. God damn it! I told you to stand by the minivan, Natsuno. What the hell? BJ. But wait, what I saw earlier. It was a different robot? That's my brother. You found a sentinel. Cool. Sentinel number eight. A remote control type. This is, uh... Oh. Eight? Oh. A remote control type. Oh. Oh. This is not sentinel number 17. You had one job? Okay, so... I think all the Sentinels, I can't remember if we established that or, or if somebody told me this, but I think all the Sentinels that were like one through uh, eight or even nine or something, I can't, I can't remember. I think we start at 10, right? That's ninjas. That's the one, it's the ones that we control, but the other ones are actually remote controlled. And that's what they were doing in the, the Sentinel infection incident, right? So they were re remote controlling a number of the Sentinels. Goto and uh, Tetsuya Ida and stuff. Natsuna? Mm. Were you made by Shikishima Robotics? You're just a robot made in Japan. You're no alien. Isn't that right? Yeah. I bet this is another one of Shikishima's. Does that mean the tripods too? 
<laughs> well, uh. No way. They're heavy machinery robots for the development of Mars. But why? Mars? Why are robots meant for Mars invading Earth? It's a long story. You better sit down. This place is not Earth. Not Earth? It is a speculation. A lack of proof makes it only a possibility. Okay, but... What? <laughs> okay, but... Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> that, that is not an explanation, BJ. Nah, I'm per excess. All right, that's all I'm going to say. Bye. <laughs> the basis for my speculation is this log. Oh, shit. <gasps> all right, go on. There are 117 planets under consideration for the project. Of those, the top prospect is a planetary system 12 light years away. I don't think this is going to work. Oh, by the way, is that Takatoshi again? I don't know. The, uh, I gotta listen to the voice. Uh, the uh, Onishi guy, the guy was in, was the, the ward, the warden for the jail that Jura was in. That's actually the same Onishi the ogre that was talking to Yuki. Remember the older guy wearing the jacket? I didn't realize that. I was like, oh shit, fuck. I guess that's what he does when he gets older, seemingly, or in the future uh, area they've created. Aren't you the professor's daughter? Yes, I'm helping with the layout. For the migration ship? It looks quite small. In the harsh environment of space, it is not possible to sustain life for extended periods of time. The ship will be carrying only our DNA. In the final phase of the project, humanity will be restarted. So we're creating aliens. How large of a population are you estimating? Oh man, it's really hard to p under to tell whose voice that is. I don't think it's, I don't think it's Takatoshi. The thing is the eyebrows, right? I thought Takatoshi had those kind of weird eyebrows. I mean, he looks different from his uh, the other future version we saw of him, right? But I thought he had the similar eyebrows. Wait, I can actually look, right? Didn't he have like big funky eyebrows? Oh, it didn't get added for his. What the hell? He was in that fucking scene. They didn't add him. Interesting. Okay, so this, I think this could very well be him, right? He does is does he normally have that? The actually his eyebrows here look more normal, but they are spiky. I don't know. We're planning for six million. And you really expect me to approve of this project? If you just want <gasps> to tell no. explanation. No! Holy no! No, it's not! It's not him at all! Holy shit! Nenji! <laughs> it's fucking Nenji. No, Nenji's the one with the eyebrows like that. Look at that. Sort of Y-shaped eyebrows. That's that's fucking Nenji, man. Holy shit. Ooh. Okay, so this is interesting. Because I remember Nenji said his father works... Right, his father's an executive at Shikishima Industries. So he grew up a rich kid. But was he originally a, that, that executive? I mean, Goto was like the CEO, right? His original self. But maybe Neji was like another executive under him. Oh, shit. It is not necessary. Your mother's explanation. Sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm i like too many things. If, if you listen to my mother's explanation, who's Yuki, by the way? Ah! Ah! I just remember that. That's the thing. This endeavor is nothing but self-satisfying. It is impractical. Now that my father has passed away, Go to I'm the one in charge. Oh, God. Research will be disposed of and the funds suspended. You can't. Ogata-san, please. Yep. This was recorded in 2188 with Natsuno Minami's ID. Fucking knew it. A communication log between Natsuno Minami and Shikishima's top executive, Minji Ogata. Ogata-kun? What the fuck? After this log, the plan was implemented. But 2188 is in the future. We are further into the future than when the log took place. <laughs> now to know, do you understand? No! It is possible 
<laughs> we are the aliens! <laughs> Holy shit! Ah! Mistaken identity. Uh, all right, she's already unlocked. So that's good. Um, okay, we. I think we probably got Ninja Agata here added. Ooh, does that mean Goto might have been actually Ninji's father originally? Holy shit! Ah, everybody's related to somebody in this. In this bullshit. Okay. So, I mean, unfortunately, we can't see when a lot of these conversations take place. It's kind of interesting because so many of the events that happened in the past here, right? There's still other events that aren't going to show up here necessarily because they're they're basically recorded conversations that happen in the present that we're talking about in that moment, right? And it's hard to know exactly when they happened. Like, I, God, I wish there was a way I could sort this this whole timeline by the, the messages I got too so I could see every one of those messages, right? More easily. Otherwise, I have to kind of go through here and be like, okay, did they see a message here? No. Did they see one here? No. Did they see, you know, just... It, it does get a little confusing. Or again, if I could just sort by uh, the different versions of ourselves, the original versions. Mistaken identity. Wow, there's a few other events that happened between there. Wait, are those Natsuno? There is, what? From between, oh. Wait, wait, what? There's a moment between here and here? Huh? Do we, do we miss something? I guess something, something happened here that we just haven't seen yet but it might involve a different character okay so mistaken identity bj then reveals that they are not actually on earth and that manami herself might be an alien okay so interesting they said that we ourselves would not be going to this new place we can't we can't survive that so it said they took their dna and brought it with them on a ship or something like they they went out somewhere so basically it sounds like they they took their DNA and like an AI or something brought them somewhere and then restarted life, right? With their DNA. Basically regroup the, the, the people with their own DNA or something, which is, uh, ah, <laughs> freaky. We are actually getting to the, close to the point too of Nachan's gone. So I think that's where we're going to see in her event is just how she disappears. Okay. Nenji Ogata 2188. The Nenji Ogata 2188 is the son of the distinguished family that owns the conglomerate Shikishima. He is opposed to Morimura's Project Arc, which his deceased father pushed for. Oh, really? Project Arc, huh? That's what that is. So Project Arc is the transportation of everyone's DNA and restarting life. That's what that is, I think. Uh, Nasuno Manami. In 2065, in the 2065 ruins, Manami discovers something that looks like the brain of a destroyed BJ. On she finds the letter Shikishima. To her dismay, Manami realizes the BJ, the essentials, and even Kaiju are all machines made in Japan. However, BJ implies that the planet they're currently on may not be Earth, and that Manami and the others are the real aliens. The 2188 Manami explains to Shikishima's top figure, Nenji Ogata, the meaning of Professor Takamiya's research. She goes over details such as the fact that the top prospect out of the 117 planets being considered is a planetary system 12 light years ahead. The ship will only carry their DNA and they are planning for a population of 6 million people. But a guy calls it an impractical, self-satisfying endeavor and rejects the plan. But Morimura was pushing for that as well, huh? They might have been talking about with Goto, perhaps? Um, oh, drone's brain. A drone part bearing the manufacturing stamp of the Shikishima Robotic. Its high-density silicon neuron circuits are shaped like a human brain. Freaky. Hi, Quad. Initially developed under the name Shikishima Industries, four-legged autonomous crane, Hi, Quad 150B, Mars Development Heavy Machinery Robot. Cool. Okay. Wow. Uh, second area, wave five. Definitely clear that shit. <laughs> Free, baby. Did that unlock anybody else's? I don't think it did, actually. A closed world and a missing memory. Uh, yeah, let's keep going. Yep. The alien is I. Where'd he go? I saw a log made by me, but from 2188. Nani? In it. I spoke about a project capable of creating humans on another planet. And according to BJ, this is that planet, and we are those creations. But the log alone doesn't leave me entirely convinced. It's like something happened to the original planet, right? So we need to move someplace else. 
to fix it. And I think I think whatever that happened is going to relate to this infection, right? Where they're like, oh, uh, Yakshishi's dad is infected, so we can't, you know, take him with us. There's a zombie apocalypse or something. There's something else about Sentinel number 17. There are logs from 2188 hidden inside it. Ooh. If I can find the Sentinel, then I can find out once and for all if these aliens are real. She went, it's really kind of funny because like, Manabe really wants it to be like, she's helping an alien buddy. Like she wants it to be like her funny science fiction E.T. movies or goofy stories and stuff. So she's like, it's like, this isn't how it's supposed to go at all. No, I'm not the alien you are. No, you stupid bitch. Ah. Turns out he wasn't an alien. He was actually a futuristic robot made by a Japanese company. They make washing machines. What the fuck? The agents continue to lurk around the school. They got to be searching for something. And I think I know. I'm almost sure of it. They still think BJ is an alien. They don't think that at all, you silly nugget. I think they know a bit more than we do. Well, seemingly. Not enough to fucking work a teleporter or whatever the fuck the the UFO thing was. Trucking it. Hey, what's up? I got tired and uh, decided to clean out your locker. You can thank me later. Wow. You actually stayed hidden this time. Oh, I think he, I think he feels bad. He's like, he just dropped a fucking mind fuck on Manami and he's like, I'm going to be a good boy this time <laughs> and stay in the locker because I'm not an alien and you're an alien and I know it's not what you wanted, but. Hey, so. You mentioned something once that we're the ones who are aliens, that this is a different planet. I find that hard to believe. Okay. I understand. BJ, what kind of robot are you anyway? I am an AI. The Sobbing Files. So when Miura-kun called you a... a piece of sentinel technology, he wasn't wrong then. The sentinel you're searching for. There's more than one, isn't there? The video logs from 2188. Sentinel number 17's memory cell. It contains all of the logs. Now that I've seen one, I need to know the truth. So I'm going to be tagging along. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, is Sentinel 17 the one he was originally in? Right here. Uh, yes, it is. That's why he wants to find it. He knows all the shit's been in there. We still haven't found out exactly what happened, right? Which is probably going to be this event right here. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, no. Or is it this event? No, I think it was this. No, it's the Sentinel Infection Incident. That's what happened. All these uh, machines, all the Sentinels got just transported to random places, right? Because we just had to get them the fuck out of there. At least until I get a good answer. Got it? Yes, yeah. Aw. We're buddies. We love each well, other. Now that that's settled. Get back in the bag, BJ! No, damn it. I changed my mind. I hate you. Ah! This is certainly no time to be training. Let's go find it, little guy. Cute. Everyone's so adorable. I love them so much. Oh, God damn it. I, uh, Look over there! Uh, listen, I'd really appreciate it if... Stop hanging out at that one spot. Didn't tell Senpai. Yes. Uh, 
Oh god, don't let this girl see me. Huh? Hi. Hey. Where do you think you're going? Skipping training again? Well, the thing is, there's something I really gotta do, so you first years are such slackers. And now I gotta deal with our track room getting trashed. Uh maybe a stray cat got in. Uh. No. Someone broke the lock in the middle of the night. I wonder. Were those men in black looking for BJ? Here you go with your nonsense again. You're such a silly Billy. Is this my senpai? I think it is. Screw your stupid track team. We suck anyway. <laughs> Our team loses every year. All right. We're here. Now do my calculations again. You stand there, be a good girl. <laughs> Don't bug me. Well, uh, let's go back to 1945 again. Um, Sector one, we've searched there already, haven't we? Where could number 17 be? Let's go to sector one. You want to look there again? What year is it in sector one anyways? 2105. Hmm? The 22nd century? Let's do it. Code approved. Designating sector. This thing sure is hard to find, good lord. Hey! This is the only room with the lights on. This fucking place. Beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it. Hey, what's up, Jero? Hey, what's up? Hey, I say that's me. I'm still in here. There's like 30 more of me running around. They're gonna get you, Tommy. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Ah! Hey, BJ. You said this place is underground, right? How are things looking up on the surface? Highly contaminated with toxic levels of radiation. The environment is still inhospitable for us. Seriously? So we ended up nuking them? It was the government's last-ditch effort after the city was destroyed. And we still couldn't beat them? There were too many of them. This underground facility is the last place of refuge. Okay, so we actually nuked these guys. We, we nuked the kaiju. Or tried to. But, uh, okay. I was actually kind of thinking, I was like, we haven't really seen much of above ground in 2105. Whenever we come here, it's always down in this area or maybe in the UFO. Nowhere else is safe. Gotcha. <sighs> what have you been looking at this whole time? I'm searching for... Porn! Memories. Like your own memories? After I ran a self-diagnosis on this drone... I discovered my memories were fragmented and inconsistent. Ah. 72% of them have been deleted. Oh, wow. They've been tampered with twice, possibly more. Ooh. Oh, some of that was probably uh, Juro's doing, right? The, the problem is, of course, it's like, why, though? Why would Juro, why would Juro do that? Like, why did he, like, fuck up BJ and, like, do all this stuff? It's... And until I get, like, the full picture, right? Until I've seen everything, I feel like it's... I don't know if I'm going to be able to piece some of this together. Of, like, the motivations for every one of these scenes, right? This definitely does feel like a game that, at the end, you sort of kind of have to go through everything and try to piece it together. Like, why did this... So why did this happen, right? Why did it happen this way? And maybe that's... And I guess, like, you could sort of see it as a bit of a downside to this storytelling. Because there's so many plot points, right? Like, if you want to get the full picture, you either have to play it again or go through the, the timeline one by one and see everything again to be able to be like, oh, that's why this happened. That's why this happened. That's why this happened. Um, by who? God damn it. Didn't mean to... These triggers are so easy to press. I had sitting in my lap. Um, 
And I, I mean, I don't know if that's a negative. It's just, it. again, this is a game that requires, I think, commitment, you know, for the best experience. And I'm saying that as someone who's absolutely in love with this game, right? And that's because I have been fully committed to this game because I'm so engaged by it. But you can't pussyfoot around this shit. Like, if you're hoping to just chill out and go through this game and be like, Lou, 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 I'm not even going to look at analysis. Lou, 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 Lou. Then you're, like, missing the whole point of the game. So I think... I don't know. I'm just thinking like maybe at the end of the Let's Play. I don't know if I just have like one big episode where I go through all the plot points or try to at least to try to figure out like why did this happen? Why did uh, Morimura do this? Why did Juro do that? I, I don't know. It kind of depends how easy it is to just figure out. Like at some point, everything's just going to click and suddenly all, everything makes sense, right? Uh, we'll see, I guess. Fuck. I don't know. I can't tell if it was Juro, if it was Juro or if it was somebody else. My, Juro may have just messed around with his memory so that he, he didn't see he was there. Maybe he, his memories were deleted long before that. What? What's wrong? Someone just shifted to the hangar. They're coming this way. Ah, oh, fuck. Here we go again. What do we do? Who are they? They erased every last trace from the system. We must hide quickly. Uh-oh. Run! Wait for me! Who the fuck is it? Is it A again? <gasps> go, go! Baby Jero! What do you think? Hard to say. I need more information. This decode is problematic. It attaches to the part of the brain where memories are stored. It must be physically severed to be removed. Oh. The damage this procedure does to the brain is lethal. Ooh, interesting. That's what's actually in uh Manami, right? Maybe, maybe the the band-aid then maybe it is. They maybe they're going into like her cheek or something and like fucking around with it, and that's what causes the the band-aid or something. Like, do you find a way to do it without killing her? That program, the one that severs the code. That's what's infecting the sentinels. Right. Sentinels. I wasn't aware that control over the automated factories could be partially adjusted. You did well to discover that detail. It wasn't me. It was Juro Izumi from two loops ago. Oh. Two loops ago. Hmm? Have you forgotten? We've restarted twice since the world ended. I see. The shifting range isn't just limited to residential zones. Sector Zero makes that possible. In any case, we don't have much time. Huh? Where did you get all this information from? Wait, hold on. The shifting the shifting range isn't just limited to residential zones. Sector zero makes that possible. Shifting range. Like the gate shit? Uh, I don't fully understand that. From the computer and the underground UFO. <laughs> UFO, huh? Is that what you've been calling it these days? Well, can we go there? Yes, we can. I think the UFO is universal control. Possible after all. Have you really forgotten? Interesting. Guess it's like, God damn it! I gotta split the whole plot to this little girl. Jesus. I think, yeah, I think the, I think UF, the UFO is like universal control. I think that's kind of what I've sort of deduced from this. I don't think we've actually said that's what it is. We talked about universal control, but. In case you couldn't tell, I have a child's brain. <laughs> the occasional memory lapse is to be expected. That's funny. Now let's go. I don't know how they haven't seen me yet. Damn it. Go to the babysitter. Well, that was weird. Wasn't that Chihiro chan? And Goto Senpai was with her. You saw that too, right, BJ? Calm down, not you. Calm the fuck down! Man, if you didn't stop me, I totally would have jumped out at them. <laughs> I'm like, ah! That's right, I forgot. 
She actually did see uh, Mur Mira's uh, little sister. She was dressed like a kindergartner. That was Chihiro chan, right? Mira kun's little sister? She didn't seem like she was unhappy to be there. And there was something different about her. Goto senpai was talking to her like she was a scientist. It's like she went to college. I saw Goto senpai in the past. I guess he's able to time travel too. Yeah, I did. I guess we see. Oh, that's right. Cause she saw Tamau, right? And which is why she thought I look like Tamau. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I, I thought she. I, for some reason, I thought Nasuna was thinking Tamau was like. Because there is actually a Tamao Karabe at the school, right? Um. Oh, wait. Right. Yeah. 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 No. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> there. There is. Isn't there? No. There's an Erika Iba at the school. Ah. Uh, wait a minute. Why is... Hold on. Now I am confusing myself. Wait. Erika Iba's a student in one cl class 1D. So, okay. This isn't... I don't know. I'm actually sort of confused now. Was Erika Iba always this girl? Did she suddenly, she did, I th she just suddenly took on that identity though, right? But before that, before that moment, before uh, this person ran into the bathroom and fought with Kisaragi Android, who were they? They were just an android that had Tamao Karabe's uh, AI in them? Were they ever anybody else? Were they like already at the school, like hanging out with people? I, I don't fucking know, man. I'm actually a little confused by that. I'm not sure exactly where it originated. We saw, I mean, we saw Tamao Karabe as uh, AI already. We saw her in the, the past talking with Shu Amaguchi Tetsuya Ida guy. I don't know if we know yet. I kind of didn't really hit me. I, I kind of thought that this was like, oh, she's already been going to the school, but wait, that doesn't make sense at all. They wouldn't have a Tamao Karabe going around at school. So anyway, yeah. So. The Tamau that she was thinking of is the Tamau from 1945. That's why she's like, oh, this is who this looks like. And why she was so quickly to, so quick to dismiss, oh, it's not the same person, obviously, because that wouldn't make any sense, right? <sighs> okay, sorry. It's a lot going on, BJ. Can you keep up with this shit? I can't. Hey, BJ? I've located it. It was in the access log's history. My memories really were stored here after all. Yay! Really? Apparently, I predicted all of this somehow. Tell me. We have a problem. Houston. What is it? I'm unable to locate the memory data. They're stored in the cache somewhere. But they appear to be hidden. Isn't this supposed to be some super strong computer? Can't you do a quick search of it or something? After a preliminary scan of the cache, 9.216 billion data units were found. Ah! If I were to trace every unit, I need about 80 days. Good God. Well, we better get to it. I must have left some kind of hint. Something to identify the data unit. Identify? What do you mean? Each unit is a three-dimensional construct. Their coordinates consist of two alphabetical letters. Oh, like him. BJ. As well as two numerical values. Oh, wait, never mind. I know I left some kind of hint. Two letters, huh? Oh. No, it is. Back when we first met... I just assumed BJ was your name, but maybe. BJ, that's the name you gave me. No, I didn't. You're the one who said it. I have no logs of this exchange. What the hell? Wait, let me think. So when did that get erased? Juro? Yeah, it was something like... He said he's had his logs messed with now seemingly twice, right? So I think once with with Juro, who was the other time? Was it Yuki? Or no, Ri oh no, Ryoko. It was Ryoko. I th I think it was her. I think she found, because remember she listened to that message and she got fucked up. And then did she go back in and like erase it or something? I think she got, she, then she forgot, right? And then she went in there and fucked around with it, I, I, I think. Fuck, I can't remember, too many things have happened. 
BJ eleven five. BJ eleven five. So was that it? Yes, I've located. Wow, it. nice. Oh right. And and. Sentinel number seventeen. I know its location. About demon time. So, where is it? At an altitude of five hundred kilometers. What the hell? No way. So, it's up in the sky? Yes, in an artificial satellite orbiting the planet. Why? Orbit? Like in space? I cannot access it from here. Let's go. Where? To space? To space! To the place Rania Goto mentioned. Goto! UFO. Huh? I thought, the, I thought the UFO was below ground. A missing memory. Well, there's A's unlock thing. Whee! Well, all of Man uh, Manami's stuff is kind of going in order, so at least it's easier to keep track of that way. Missing memory. At some point, she's going to get stranded in time, though, I think, right? Uh, BJ isn't his name, but is actually the coordinates BJ11.5 that BJ was looking for in order to find the memory cell. It's the word BJ kept repeating when he met Manami for the first time. Thanks to Manami's good memory, he was able to easily recall it. Yeah! Good on you, Manami. I probably would have been fucking shit at that. Okay, the tracker members. Having to deal with track, the tracker repeatedly, getting trashed, and Asuna Manami skipping training. The manager is racking her brain. The track member with the pigtails is close to Manami as they're in the same grade. She's like, mother fudger. Uh, automated factory. The Durozumi of two loops ago discovered that it's possible to alter the automated factory's processes, which led to the birth of the Sentinels. Ah, okay. Okay. So the Sentinels were just... They didn't even say that we invented them, right? We created them. The Sentinels did not exist before before us. So before, basically, Juro's uh, intervention here. And then they used that info. And I think Tetsuya, Ida, uh, Goto, and Morimura are the ones that made them. So according to Juro, right? He says she's lost, she's lost uh, faith in the Sentinel project, right? And Goto still brought up a while back that you seem like you're a different person now. So I am, I am kind of curious if... Did she lose faith herself or did something happen to Morimura to cause her to either become somebody else or to change her somehow, you know, to lead to this, this, that moment. Uh, 2100, the service shows no sign of life due to the Kaiju attacks and toxic levels of radiation from the government's use of nuclear bombs. I see. Okay. So why we're never up, up, up top when we're over there. All right. Am I locked out of Manami? I'm not I'm still going. Also, uh, wait, wait, where is he? There he is. A is unlocked. Uh, let's keep going with uh, Manami then. Um, Manami and BJ search for BJ's deleted memory data in the 2105 underground facility. Once he regained his memories, BJ said the Sentinel-17 is up in orbit in the artificial satellite. Right. Ah, Ryoko! Oh, I have a band-aid now. Why did I decide to put a bandit on now? What? Oh. This small puncture on my cheek. Why does it glow when I touch it? It's scaring me. Maybe. Maybe aliens really did put something in me. Oh. Okay. I was thinking about that too much. <laughs> I was like, I really thought there was some deeper meaning. Why is there band-aid on later, but not now? Okay, never mind. Just call that she noticed that it was starting to glow when it was freaking her out, so she covered it up. Gotcha. That's it. That's the only reason. But she didn't notice it until later. Okay. I saw Goto Senpai. He can also travel through time. So who exactly is he? Girl, I can see you. Huh? You're a second year student. Did you need something from us? Out of my way, bitch. 
she just she just yeets out of there. It's open. Uh oh. Where's BJ? Holy shit, that was close. You have to tase that tase that bitch. There you are, hiding in the laundry basket, huh? Wait, was that girl? Was she looking for you? It seems likely. You think she's working with the men in black? Her affiliation is unclear. However, her intentions... She wants the logs, doesn't she? Correct. She wants the truth. information on technology and the future. People are starting to suspect me. We gotta hurry and find that sentinel. It's only UFO, right? You said UFO, but it was manufactured in Japan, wasn't it? It is the name of a control system. <sighs> right. Control system. So Universal control. Of... It totally is. But I do wonder then what I am sort of confused about. There's seemingly like one buried underground and then one in the air. Or did the one that was buried underground now go into the air after the moment we saw maybe where the world's reset? I, I don't know. Let's go to the gate. Okay. Gotta get the bag. The bag's been open too. She must have looked in here. That second year could be outside still. Don't worry. If I see her, I'll just sprint right on by. Kill her. What? Here's a gun. Do it. Do it for your pal, BJ. <laughs> I, I can't do that. Don't be a pussy. Come on. <laughs> just takes one bullet for you fleshy beings. Oh, God. Yeah, just going to be hiding behind the sink like. Do, 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 do. Sprint. Just in case. She's gonna be hiding by that column. She disappeared earlier when she was over there. Is this after that moment from when Biura was, I think it is actually, M maybe. Was there a moment with Miura where he was looking for, uh, for the Nami and he was like, he went by the locker area. And it's like, oh, not there. And then Ryoko was in the, the in the back, and she was like, ah! and then she saw that and ran off. Maybe I'm not even sure if that was the event was actually added on here, though. I'm not sure if it was significant enough. That's the other thing too. It's not literally not every event is on here. Like the scene we just saw where we were talking like that. I don't think that's actually here, really. Or some of the events were just kind of running around school. So we're here. God, I am getting so sick of doing this shit. What's the matter? It is sealed off, just like Sector 5. So we can't go today? There is an opening in Sector 3. We may be able to go from there. Sector 3? It is in 2025. 40 years from now. Which means I'll be in my 50s. I'm having mixed feelings. <laughs> this is where she gets she gets left, I think, right? It was in 2025. This is where they go to look for her. Access code approved. So whatever's going to happen, something's going to happen to BJ here that causes him to get forced back or put somewhere, right? Because, oh yeah, we find him, we find him in the school building, right? In the old school building. I guess he had a passport or school ID. We are here? Jeez. This place is falling apart. I guess 2025 got hit pretty hard, too. Uh, there's something on the ground. It's a student ID from my school. Ryoko Shinonome, oh. yep. class 2A. This is where she was sleeping. This picture. When they were here with Kisaragi That's and Enji and, I saw in the track room. and Miwako. How Mine. Let's get here. This 
place is in ruins. But it almost seems like someone's living here. We were for a while. So I gotta go back and finish that actually with Kisaragi. Is the UFO close by? It's 1.7 kilometers away. Holy fuck! Hey, don't leave me behind again. We're supposed to stick together. Stop right there. Ah! Uh, she don't know me, senpai. Damn it! Wait, did you time travel too? Why can't I get a gun? I've been waiting. I knew you'd be here. This is 426's hideout. You're working with him, aren't you? No! 42 who? What the heck are you talking about? I've never been here before in my life. Don't play dumb. I'll deal with you later, Natsu no Minami. And when I do, you will tell me where he is. Damn it, Ricky, you don't even know what's going on. Right Shut up. Now, my mission is to take that data unit back with me. Now hand it over. Ryoko Shinonome. You're being used. There's a reason they want you to find me. It's to prevent you all from seeing the logs. And uncovering the truth. I don't care about that. Yes, you do! Even the logs about you. And Tetsuya Ida. <laughs> Yes, that got your attention. Wait, sorry. When did that? I think, has she already seen it and forgotten? Oh, no, she hasn't seen it yet. This happens, yeah. Oh, so this is actually what leads up to that. Mmm, okay. Oh, oh, right. I remember, I, I remember the, the okay. I, I remember the, the, the set of events here. So, okay, so Ryoko's probably gonna grab BJ here and run the fuck off, right? And that leaves... Uh, Banami, uh, stuck here. So then she saw her, the truth, right? Uh, saw the, the, uh, the message from herself in the future. It fucked her up. And then she told Yuki to hide the, hide, uh, BJ somewhere. And Yuki hid BJ in the old school building. That's right. That's, she put her, put him there. I forgot about that. Okay. You're not taking BJ. Out of my way. Die, bitch! Boom! Yes, you know. Ah, fuck! Why couldn't I have had a taser so I could stall in me? Uh-oh. Put me down! No! It's freezing. And this is why she's been stuck here for a while. Wait. Where am I again? Uh... Oh crap, that's right! PJ! Maybe he's... Nope, never mind. PJ! Oh. He's not here. The little asshole left me alone! Over here, either. What a mess. With the way things are, it's looking pretty grim for me. I can't go home. Yep. There you go. A closed world. Now we finally unlock Yuki's thing. Only one new archive up update here. A tsunami. Minami shifts to 2025 to get to the UFO, but is attacked by Ryoko Shinonome there and gets left behind in the ruins, unable to find a way home. Well, there you go. That's how it happens. That's why she disappears for a fucking while. Closed world. Yep, see, so a closed world and then we go me from the future. Yep. So that's what leads directly into that. We finally have the circumstances behind it, which is good. And now Min Minami's gonna be there for a while. Well, we do see her get back here uh, when A shows up at one point. It's only got a few more events, though, until that happens. I think there's going to be a, a bit of a jump ahead in time, though. I do wonder if she's actually going to be locked off, maybe until we see Yuki's event, potentially. Yup! <laughs> yup! Yup. I had a feeling. Not John.
That's and that's gonna be Yuki's last event. She only I think she only has one more. They arrive in 2025, go to the UFO. However, Ryoko Shinome suspected that she was working alongside 426 to snatch BJ away, leaving Manami stranded and unable to return to 1985. It's interesting though, see the way they set this up though? I can't continue with Yuki's until I had I gotten to that point with Manami. So they, they, this is definitely one where they want you to see it in a specific order, right? So like I get to, in order to, to finish up Yuki's, I have to, I had to get all the way to the end of, uh, Minami's. And now that I'm there, I, I have to go to the end of, uh, Yuki's to see the end of Minami's. So they want you to see hers first before they see the other one, which is the similar thing to like, uh, what's going on with Juro too, right? Okay. Well, let's go ahead and do it then. Let's go see what ha happens with Yuki here. Erika Iba's true identity turned out to be an android that carried the consciousness of criminal Juro Izumi. The android managed to break past Marimura and the others to escape from Yuki Takamiya. All right. Let's go find Nai Chan. Where the fuck she is? Iba, where could she have gone? Forget her. I need to find Nachan. Yeah, fuck that. I should check with Sekigahara if there's been any progress. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, hey, oh, okay, that's where I need to go. Erika Aiba is a robot? Or, more accurately, a criminal by the name of Juro Izumi who has no physical body of his own. He wanted to do something to me. Something that involved shooting me up with nanomachines. That's right. He was messing with her nanomachines too, right? The Kisaragi involved in the bathroom incident. It was really just a robot built to look like her. Then that robot got damaged and was disposed of in the old school building. And now the robot's brain is in Aiba's body. How many days has it been since Nachan went missing? I was told she'd be able to find food, but I'm worried about her. I should hurry and get to the old building. Sekigahara is there. Good thing we didn't we didn't uh abandon her in Nuke Town. <laughs> the area is just like full of radioactivity. Then she'd truly be fucked. All right, let's go see A. He still should have his memories, so. Anyone there? Are you in here? No? Where is he? He said he was gonna be hiding around here. Maybe he's still looking for her. Or maybe he got caught. <sighs> we are here. Oh, you were just right there. What up, guys? Sekigahara, what happened? The nanomachine separation inside the brain is progressing. Yeah, it's starting to, starting to what lose does that it. Mean? It won't be long. Um, hey. I still have my memory. I just ran out of my pills. Oh. Fuck. Don't mind me. You were searching for Natsunomi Nami. We've determined her location. She's in Sector 3. What? Miura? It is only speculation. But there is a high probability that she is there. Okay, great. Let's go get her. Oh, wait. Sekigahara. Am I misremembering? I thought we already went there to look for her, but we couldn't find her. Hold on. Did that happen at some point? I swear to God. Or maybe was it with A? Oh, right here. Yeah. A Sekigahara Miura head to Tokisaka Shrine, the place that was mentioned in Natsuno Minami's book. Minami's book. They shift to Sector 3 through the time travel, but are unable to find her. Yeah, they did. But they can't find her there. Go without me. I just needed to tell you. Besides, the black suits are only after me now. It'd be bad if they think you're my accomplice. 
Better to avoid being seen together at all. Come over here. What is it? What is this thing? Take my gun. Take it with you. I don't know how to use it's it. It's a gun. Pull the trigger. You'll need it to save Minami. <sighs> I need to ask you a favor in return. Shoot me. Minora is carrying a message for me. If I were to ever lose my oh, memory, oh right. I need you to show me that message. Ah. Oh fuck, that's right for God. This is where he does it. There's where he parts his his final his final message to her. Will you be okay by yourself? <sighs> Myself is just about all I can handle. I'm sure Shinonome's medicine is in the nurse's office. Miura seems to be in a hurry. Please, go with him. I'm sorry, eh? It is your destiny to get fucked up in the brain. I'm afraid. So I wonder at what point someone comes in and fixes him, right? Or prevents him from completely deteriorating. It's gotta be something that Okino does, right? Alright, we're here, dude. Now what? So? Where is Nachon? Southeast, 3.2 kilometers. There is an unusual concentration of androids. What the fuck? Great. More of those creepy ass robots. They must have found something. Or someone. Something? You mean Nachon? Can I hop on your back? Oh shit. I know. Let's get turned to a first person shooter. Fail. Let's go. <laughs> it suddenly turns into doom. Dance, 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 dance. Let's go. Lead the way. So these fucking androids this right. We saw them up uh, we saw only saw one before with Kisaragi. Are there androids just running around up here? Me, uh, me oh my god. Come here. It's Arnold. They're all Arnold's bots. Come here, Minami Chan. I just want to hug you. I just want to touch they your thighs. Right ah, la, la. Take even one step outside, they'll attack. Ever since I got here, they just keep on coming. I ate my last can of food yesterday. And now the soda I was taking sips from is empty, too. Oh, what should I do? Am I going to die here without anyone knowing? Don't worry, Minami. Mommy's coming. Boom! Eat this, motherfucker! You can't kill me. I'm hollow, bitch. Oh, she actually had to press the button. Uh, ready? Da, da, no! Shoot! <laughs> they didn't teach me this shit at the academy. How I haven't even been to the academy. Have I? Yeah, okay, that's all right. Landed at least four of those 800 shots I fired earlier. <laughs> no way, Yuki Chan. Hey, girl. No, Chan. They start making out. I'm so glad you're okay. And you're like, uh oh. <laughs> Yuki Chan. Oh. I finally found you. You're safe now, all right? I know. Aww. They love each I, other. Why are you here, Yuki-chan? I'd come find you anywhere, Nachan. Even if I have to cross time and space to do it. Oh, Yuki-chan. Aw, cute. <laughs> that would be really bad if they just start making out and then be just like, uh, oh shit. Should I, um, should I, should I tell them or, uh, I mean, are they technically even related anymore? I'm, I'm so conflicted. I don't, ah! BJ. It is why the androids could not approach. Oh. You came back for me. Of course. The G-Molar's magnetic shield. Okay. Of course. 
Aw. Yay! Let's go. No matter what comes our way, I will protect you with everything I have. <laughs> She's like, come on! <gasps> what? What? Bushi and Nushi and Summoner Sentinel! Really? Oh, it, oh. Really? <laughs> she didn't summon her Sentinel or anything, though. Maybe she does it in Minamis, then. That's why I have to see hers first, and then you'll see the remainder in, in, in Minamis. <laughs> Tanacha, the hawk has landed! Yeah, that was definitely a, uh, a preview of the, of what's to come. God, we didn't get any new shit here, either. Well, fuck it, then. We're gonna go right into that, all right? All right, well, I think this is clearly designed so that we, uh, we play them back-to-back, -back, right? So we, that's why that one ends with such a cliffhanger. So let's go hop into Manabes, and I wouldn't be surprised if we end up seeing both of them summon their Sentinels and Manabes, right? That's why th these are so closely tied together. Um, I actually was curious to see, d does uh natsuno and yuki do do they actually start the uh the destruction mode together like do they start in a battle together uh, i decided to just look it up to to check real quick from some of the earlier episodes they actually don't they start separately but yuki does say i told you to stay out of that uh sentinel i said it was dangerous you got it in anyway so i'm guessing at some point yuki's gonna like run off right like i'm gonna do it leave it to me and then not Sean, and then she hops in her thing and flies off and then minami's gonna come in shortly afterwards or something so uh, all right. Uh, Natsuno Minami arrived in 2025 to go after the UFO. However, Ryoko Shinonomi suspected that she was working alongside 426 and snatched BJ away, leaving Minami stranded and able, unable to return in 1985. Uh-huh. I imagine this is going to follow right after what we just saw, but... This should be a good spot, right? Yep. The river's nice and wide. Plus, no one else is around. It shouldn't be a problem if the Sentinel pops up here. Are you going to summon it right now? Perhaps we should wait until nightfall. Man, fuck that. Well, we're going to send it right back, aren't we? If it's only for a second, then we should be fine. I want to change the registered pilot of Sentinel number 17. To you, Natsuno. Ah. Wait, right here? Why? I was previously using Miura's ID. Yeah. That was originally his Sentinel. It's because I operated Sentinel number 19. I can no longer pilot a Sentinel. Ah, okay. I see. Because he hopped in at Sentinel 19 back in 1945, right? Uh, and fought the Kaiju there. So now the ownership is switched to that one. And as because he's also Miura, that means uh, BJ, who was piloting uh, Sentinel 17, can't use it anymore. So that means it's Minami's time to shine. In order to shift to the Sentinel, it must receive a new pilot. But this change comes with a price. It will reset the Sentinel's stored memory. Oh, all the logs are going to go away. That's not good. Then what do we do? We'll transfer all data logs to me. If it's done at the same time we change the registered pilot, I should be able to secure the log data. Good thinking, BJ. Now, you know, from now on, Sentinel number 17 will be. Right, right, no problem. I'll be the one who pilots the robot. And I'll fight together with my pal, BJ. As long as Nachan isn't in any danger. Sentinel number 17 will protect Nachan. If anything, I should be the one fighting. There is another Sentinel for you. What did you say? Oh, yeah. We must work together and survive. You know it. Both processes must be performed concurrently. Nachan. It's time to activate. Okay. Okay. So she's going to summon it. And then at the same time, the moment it arrives here, they're going to, uh, 
snatches data. Because right now it's it's floating in space, right? App apparently. So they have no way of getting to it. This is the only way. Although I guess maybe they could grab the flying one and fly it out there. Nah, whatever. <laughs> this is fine. I'm gonna take the band-aid off now, right? Fuck this shit! Ah, power! Yeah, really. Now send it back, Nachon. Uh, how do I do that? Uh oh, BJ. It. It disappeared. Does that mean it worked, BJ? BJ? Oh no. You okay, buddy? Say something. He's no longer with us. What? BJ was the only one who could retrieve the log data. But the storage capacity on a scout unit like that is limited. He couldn't store both the log data and his own AI data. Oh. So in order to make room for the logs, he deleted himself. No. No, you're wrong. He's just fooling around. Come on. Wake up, BJ. Oh, poor BJ. Oh, that's why. The no, <laughs> that's where it ends. Oh, what the hell? Oh, oh my God, that one ended on such a downer, dude. Fuck. And we actually didn't see Yuki summon her. Why? Okay, so I guess it's not as consistent as I thought it would be. Oh no, what the hell? Wow. No, some of these definitely don't have like a an uplifting, like emotionally like triumphant ending to them. Holy shit, dude. Ah sadness. To the final battle. So how far is that into this? There's the new awakening. Oh wait, there it is. Goodbye, BJ. Aw. She transmits the sentinel last bit BJ's log was successful save, but he doesn't respond. So a bit a bit before that. Okay. I guess they didn't show them coming back from the past or or future or whatever. Uh, Yuki and her. This is a big jump ahead. Um, there's still some scenes with her though, right? Aside from it was seen between the disappearance of Tamao and mistaken identity and a couple scattered ones. And then, all right, breaking my limits or breaking limits. But oh, this actually takes place after the Ida Amaguchi thing too with Yuki. How far back was the, uh, oh, wow. Okay, so they went, so the Hawk has landed saving her and then the next scene is actually with Shu here but they have the logs now from that sentinel wow that was a really short one too holy shit i guess that's why they wanted you to do them back to back like that right because of how short they were but damn man i was hoping that I was gonna have a because yuki's kind of ended a bit on a, a cliffhanger and then it was like oh so we're here and then ah uh, it ended so quickly and sadly Okay, well, what we got now? Natsuno Minami. Uh, Minami changed the registered pilot of Sentinel number 17 on the Sumeria Bridge. At the same time, BJ erased his own mind in order to free space for Sentinel 17's log data. For the sake of BJ, who entrusted her with Sentinel se number 17 and its log data, Minami makes up her mind to face the kaiju. Uh, BJ, while transferring all logs of 2188 from Sentinel number 17 over to his storage, he deleted his own AI in order to free up enough space. Aww. So he must have told uh, other Miura, the... Uh, human Mira about that right beforehand they was gonna do it oh i didn't even say goodbye that's so sad in order to become a sentinel pilot what must be injected with the nano machines that enable command of the sentinel and be registered as the pilot for that sentinel sadness oh man we're already 70 way 70 percent of the way through this stuff now so we got two down from today with her and yuki damn oh i wish it didn't end so sad fuck uh God damn it. I do a destruction fight, but I think we're pretty far into this episode at this point. So I think we have to save that for next time. <laughs> I need to go kill some kaiju. Cheer myself up. Damn it. Shit made Nico sad. Okay, so we didn't exactly see even the moment though where they like jumped right into the fight, right? I, I, I kind of thought it would. And again, we didn't even see Yuki summon her sentinel yet. That was more like a test thing, right? To, to make her the pilot. So maybe maybe we'll see in somebody else's route. I, I, I just imagine at some point we're gonna see 
all the characters summoning their sentinels, right? It seems like that's sort of like a kind of a, a moment for everyone, right? To see like where in the where on their body do they have the start button and things like that. It's kind of cool. I think it's I think it's actually a, a neat uh, thing to see. I believe Yuki actually when we saw the first fight was actually with Shu and I believe Goto uh, when she fought the at, at first. So maybe that's when we'll see them together. And I think Miura was actually with uh, uh, Minami in the first fights. But uh, anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoy this episode. <laughs> Hopefully you're not as bummed out as I am. I hope I didn't press the shaggy with that ending. God damn. No, BJ, why? Why? Um, if you did, please leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. And subscribe if you're not ready to become Pinky Penguin aboard the SLP. Where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And we've got, I think, five people now completed. So, um, we need only three more people to get to 80%. Then we can actually go back to Takatoshi again. So that's cool. We're definitely starting to get there. 70% through this and 73% through this. Hoo wee. Uh, but anyway, guys, as always, till next time, stay classy.